offspring. It's Mommy Cray Cray here. Mommy Cray Cray. Well, the other day, while I decided to go to my favorite store, Bed Bath and Beyond. Where does it beyond? Other than Bed and Bath, girl, where are we going? Where are we going beyond? I'm walking around and I come across some of the most interesting products I have ever seen. And I decided, you know what? That would make a good video. First up, we have this immersion heater. I know you're gonna be saying to yourself, what's so weird about an immersion heater? It is ideal for heating up instant coffee, tea, and soup. And you may say, that's a bright idea. Why didn't I think of that? Why would you need this if you're somewhere that has electricity? Why not just use a microwave? Maybe you're on a road trip or you're somewhere. Usually if you stop and there's a place with electricity, you just pop it in a microwave. It makes no common sense. Leave a comment, do you know of any other uses? Like if you can plug it up, girl, why you, why you doing all this? I mean, oh, okay, maybe you're in a hotel, so maybe they don't have the microwave in there, but really you bringing this all the way with you, this is where you're gonna spare in your luggage to bring with you. We are gonna use this lukewarm, coldish cup of water. We're heating it up, oh, oh, he's getting hot. It getting hot in here. Uh, it's so hot. Take my I don't know, girl. What are we taking off to use this? But we ain't taking our clothes off. He ain't. Oh, God! <laughs> it's hot! Oh my gosh, it's hot! It's like a curling iron hot. Let's see if we can get these edges with this. Hold on. I'm gonna get these edges. Oh, he's hot. Y'all, he's. Oh, he burned my hair! He's smoking! Woo! Did you guys see that? By the time you do this, you could have popped him in the microwave for 20, 30 seconds and had a hot cup of coffee or tea. Where do you walk in the streets in New York? Like, y'all got a plug I can, y'all got an outlet I can use? We'll come back to this one. We have another product that you must absolutely, absolutely need no questions asked. It's an iPhone fan. You no longer have to have working air conditioner. Someone was probably like, what can I create as an iPhone accessory, you know, that nobody else is going to make. And you know, Bubba was looking at the ceiling fan and he thought, hold on. I know plenty of people that want a fan on their iPhone. This is my big face and that's the fan. He ain't gonna be strong enough for this face, but let's see. Oh, oh, this legit works. Hey, get it so hot. Girl, girl, he trying. Ah, girl, if you put your face too close as you try to take a selfie. <laughs> you want your eye out? Our next product is also dedicated to the iPhone. There is an iPhone plunger. First I was like, ooh, if you get water in the bottom, you can kind of suction it all out. No, that is not for that. You can take out this classy plunger, right? Because you know, you at work, you at the job interview, you wherever, you take out this plunger, they're like, that's a classy girl. That's a lady right there. So there he is. Oh, he's working. Oh, moisten the inside of the plunger and affix it to the back of the device. It's time to moisten. Because I'm assuming if you're out in public and you need to use this thing, you're going to have to lick it. He is now properly moistened. Oh, oh, so if people were to see you in public, really, what's going on, boo? That's not coming up. Y'all got some tissue. Speaking of plungers, I have something that is an absolute gem. I don't know a woman alive who would not want this sitting in her house, and it is the Squatty Potty Poop Plunger. And I actually have a Squatty Potty, and if y'all don't believe me, I know y'all probably saying, you don't have no Squatty Potty. I know you lying, mommy. I know you don't have no Squatty Potty. Girl, not only do I have one Squatty Potty, I got two. Oh, I guess if you do a little too much in the toilet. Oh, girl. Read them in the week. There she is. What y'all doing in here? Are you cleaning my toilet with a poop? Your toilet? I didn't know she paid bills in here. Oh, this is her house. Okay, you pay the bills. She paying bills, y'all. Look at this. Look at my baby growing. She paying bills. This her house. Girl, I'm living with my baby. I don't have anything stuck in there. Please do not stick any. Do not stick that cloth down in my toilet. Don't dig your hands all in it. No, you just sloshing toilet water on my foot. <laughs> Naya, can I ask Elijah. you a question? Why do you look like the weekend right now? So in the beyond area of Bed Bath Beyond, I found this eyebrow stamper. You gonna stamp your eyebrow on your face. Why do I feel so meaty? I feel like I jiggle so much in the trunk area now. Okay guys, so here I am in my bathroom with my 3D brow. The sun is, look girl, girl, Casper. Casper the friendly girls. Ooh, this is some hood, this is some trap, this is some trap. Ah! There's the stamping kit. <laughs> professional. These ain't no 2D. These ain't no 1D. But these some 3D, 3 count. High definition. Y'all can tell I'm not a beauty blogger. Wait, oh, it's the same. Well, how am I supposed to stamp? So I'm gonna take stamp one. I'm gonna rub it in there. Ooh, girl, I got it on there. 
put on brow number one. Girl, I can't even see this. I'm gonna see what happens. Hold up! This brow is working. Is we working or is we not? This brow is legit better than the brow I did myself. Hold on. We have a friend of the show in here right now. So she does not have any, and I already had makeup on my brow, so we're gonna stamp her brow. No makeup. We're gonna stamp it, bit of a... I mean, I don't know if this fits her face. <gasps> <laughs> She said it's so bad looking. I actually don't think this looks bad on me. That's my brow that I normally do, and that is the brow with the extra. I don't think it's that bad, y'all. Where's my hair brush real quick? Can I get my Vidal Sassoon on? Up next, this is a high level tech product. You're only gonna get a tech product like this once every hundred years. That is the high end product known as the Piggy Screen Cleaner. It's limited edition, y'all. <laughs> I mean, I'm not mad at him because he is he is quite the looker. So on this side, he has like a regular material and this side, I guess, is a screen cleaning side. I have the world's dirtiest laptop computer. As a special treat, you guys will get to see me try to clean all of my crust, food, wine, my feet shavings, girl, yes, my nail clippings, everything be on that computer, girl. I don't know if y'all can see it in this screen, but trust me, the screen is filthy too. You know how we do. Sometimes we can't be cleaning and cleaning. You know, I got enough to clean. This computer ain't one of them. So Piggy, you're gonna get your, I don't know, mine is real dirty. I think I may need this. <laughs> My mother used to not throw, throw away anything. It'd be like the dirt, it'd be like a somebody left their couch out in the middle of the road. Literally, it's fresh from a crime scene with blood stain on it. You know, road kill, dogs all biting and barking on it. She'd be like, Mama, get that, we gotta get that couch. And we looking at her like she, we're like, Mom, that got blood stains, bullet holes, and there's a dog fight, there's two dogs fighting over a chicken carcass on it. Ain't nothing but a little soap and water can't fix. That's where I get my, my cleaning skills from, although I don't have none. Let's take a look at mama's computer before and after. Here is the screen after. There is some, there's like a light streakage from the cleaner, but the fingerprints are gone. And a lot of the crust that was on here is gone. That stain couldn't get up, but that's nail polish. A whole nother story. Next up is something that is very interesting. The sock slider. Thought was put into this. I mean, someone was really inventing here. This was an inventor. This wasn't like, you know, your cousin Ray Ray or Pookie or Bubba who was up tinkering in the garage and he came up with this. Like someone was an engineer. This looks like this is launching stuff into space. I understand that the elderly need to use something like this, but I'm gonna tell you something. Most old people I know, they can't put their sock on. They don't know how to use nothing like this. Now they do have someone on the back here who I assume is supposed to be pregnant. What they don't know is sometimes we be looking like that. We ain't even pregnant. Ah. You know you had that big meal. Can't quite bend over to get your socks back on after you had that good Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving and make you take your shoes off. Make you say, who's making cone chips today? Well, this is that. If Uncle Pete took his socks off and y'all like, who's like their shoes off? Let's take this out, this NASA degree needing device. Big mama and them is not putting this, big mama, you, you don't even know how to, mama don't have the dexterity to pull this out. Yo, what y'all doing to mama? She ain't never done nothing to you, but then loving them grandbabies and stuff. Mama can't do all this, he got instruction pamphlets. Uncle Pete just won't put his sock on so the kids stop making fun of him and Snapchatting his gross feet. Let's get it all spread out so you guys can see all the parts and stuff. I'm gonna slide this big part into the, the launch pad, the NASA launch pad. He knew that aerospace degree would come in handy when NASA stopped hiring, when he came up with this one. <clears throat> So mama's supposed to have the strength to put this together and I can't. Y'all trying to break up families. I mean, how is mama and them gonna put? Now assistant, we need a sock. You can't put on a little teeny cute ankle sock, you know, hide below the shoe sock. This is a, this is grandpa's tube sock. This is Allen Iverson sock you putting on with this. Okay, so here we are in our living room area. Of course, my assistant couldn't bring me a white tube sock. Why I can't get a white sock? You try to say I'm too dirty? Let's get my little crusty foot. So it say right here. Good God, this is like some nasty. This latches to the back here. Oh Jesus, y'all doing too much. So we're gonna tube our sock up. Of course, it's super tight. This thing needs to stretch. We need to sock. This sock is too tight, y'all. We've replaced it with the gray sock, which is still tight. And if Mama didn't wear compression socks, she can't get this on. Here. Ooh, what? Who has, if you can't bend over to put your sock on, but you got strength to do all this. Mama got strength to put this whole sock. Mama writing you out the wheel, you giving her this. Woo! 
You can't put your sock on. You're not doing all this. Now we have our footy thing in here. But we're gonna stick our foot down in the soccer. Oh, okay. But I can raise my, oh wait, I'm supposed to do it on the ground. We're gonna have to skip some of this because this thing is like the jaws of life for socks. Okay, so we're gonna take this to the flow because mama don't have the dexterity to pick this up. Remember, she can't pick up her leg. So I can't use my hand. That's what happened with my sock. We're gonna take this here and we're gonna lift up the edge. Lift it, Jesus. Lift the anointment. That's all we're getting. Next product on our list is actually a favorite. This is a head massager. You put it on your head, as you can see. It's in French as well, like for all my French-speaking people who are going to Bed Bath & Beyond. Ooh! So there he is, and all his so You're supposed to take this little spaceship here and stick it on your head. It's like little, little tinglies all in your head. Woo! If y'all can see my track, do not show that. This feels amazing. It's not giving you like a true head massage. You know if you go to the nail salon and they do a little, they like, they, I mean, you practically getting Botox in there. This is not gonna do that. But it seems to be giving like a little, little mingle, look. A tingle. And if you're wearing a wig or a weave, you know, any type of extension, ooh, he may scratch them things all up. Your weave be like, you be like this and the weave be all in the mix. And people be like, girl, yo, wig! Speaking of massaging that goes, ah! I, when I saw this at first, I was like, are these headphones? Think about this hanging up on the shelf back here. It does not, I mean, the packaging leaves a lot to be desired. It, it barely tells you what it does. It's very small. You need like a big picture of a person like, ah. I guess you just put it right on your neck and that's just, and we're gonna put it right back here. Oh, okay. Hold on, Poppy. <laughs> You have to open it up a little wide because if it's too tight, it's like it's like crushing your windpipe. They got you. They got you here, like that crouching tiger, sleeping dragon. You know how you just you don't have the strength to choke somebody out. <laughs> Boy, who you texting, baby? Let me give you a massage. <laughs> That's what this is for. <laughs> Mm. The next thing I have on my list, this is the cutest thing. This is one of those products you see it, you're drawn in because it's so cute and they know it's so cute. His name is Crumby, so I'm like, what is he for? He is a little baby vacuum. Oh, aren't you a little bug? Let's see, does it include, if it does, y'all, I will pay the 10 cent extra for you to put a battery in these things. Just put the battery in there, y'all. Make a deal with Energizer, whoever. Oh, I gotta install two AA batteries. So I'm gonna take this brown, black, pure black pepper and sprinkle a little bit on the counter. <coughs> he has a <coughs> pepper was probably not the smartest one. Uh, oh, just give me the <coughs> Okay, if you turn it upside down, it spills all the pepper back out. Look. <coughs> While it does get up the mess, if you <coughs> girl, let me show you how we do. I'm not understanding while I need to do all this when that took two seconds. And this is from Dollar Tree. And if you have not seen it yet, make sure you check out my Dollar Tree frozen food versus brand name frozen food. Finally, last but not least, because we absolutely love Bed Bath and Beyond. Yeah. It is another massaging product. What makes this interesting is that you can like massage anything. The first one we have with the woman, she's rubbing her back against the wall, against the wall. Down here, she's doing some type of little stretchy whatever. Then this is uh, her rubbing her foot. And last but not least, she is massaging her posterior, her cheeks, her gluteus maximus. I mean, they literally have a picture of that right there. You know, sometimes the cheeks need a little loving. I will not be massaging my gluteus maximus on camera. Camera. That's for another time. <laughs> okay, so we're on a wall and we're gonna swing our little ball back here. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. Don't let that near your spine. Oh, okay. It's on something. It's not really that beautiful massage feeling. Ooh. I, ah! Should we go there, y'all? Should we go there, y'all? Should we? Let's get this in this thigh meat. Ooh! Now, if you have a kink in your thigh, like, you know, we're working out, this is the best one I found. So we get in the thigh all over. Let's get the side meat, the side thigh. Ah! This back meat? He getting the back meat. All right, guys, that is it for Mommy Cray Cray. Leave a comment below. Do you have any of these items? Would you want any of these items? And also leave a comment and let me know what do you want to see me try next? Buy a bunch of junk from Amazon, buy a bunch of junk from Target. So make sure you subscribe to Mommy Cray Cray. And I'm actually going to start building up my Instagram. So make sure you check me out on Instagram, Mommy Cray Cray. It should be the link in the description and everywhere. And make sure you beat your subscribe button into submission.
Thank you.